Well, we've seen a definite growth, uh, especially over the past couple of days here. You know, started off a little slow, but uh, you know, as our our players started getting their assignments and uh, really gelling as as units, you know, offensive line receivers, then uh, we've seen some some really positive growth uh, the past couple of days. And how much does it help having 22 seniors and quite a few returners coming, returning starters coming back this year? Helps a lot, you know, with 22 back and. Uh, you know, they, they know the systems, they know the schemes. You know, we haven't changed a whole lot from previous years. So, uh, you know, obviously they know it and they can they can take it to the younger kids and the younger kids can, uh, you know, kind of pick up from them, ask them questions. So it, it does certainly help to have that many seniors. And the system obviously works. From what I was looking back on Max Preps, you guys haven't had a losing season since 2006. Is that correct? Uh, I believe so. How do you maintain that culture of success here at Leo? Well, one thing is just hard work. You know, senior leadership and hard work. We come back to that, and if our seniors will lead and, and you know bring the upper class, our underclassmen with them, and uh, the work we put into it day in and day out, um, you know that that will breed more and more success. Now we're in a, a different conference. It's a whole different year for us this year. So uh, it's going to be a much more competitive conference, and uh, we're going to have a work cut out for us. So you know we have to continue to work every day to improve and you know do things right, and uh, we'll see how it goes throughout the year. Let's talk about that new conference going in as the ACAC champs. Do you feel like there's a target on your back being kind of one of the new faces to a lot of these teams? I don't know if there's a target on our back. You know, I think being a being a new school into the league, we're, we're trying to feel things out a little bit. And, uh, you know, I think it just with, with with everything being new, new schools, uh, you know, we're really looking forward to it. And, you know, we, we don't take the approach that there's a target on our back. You know, we, you know, we can really only control what, you know, we can control and, and that's what we're going to work on and um, you know we'll see how everything shakes out on Friday nights but uh, you know it's, it's certainly going to be very very competitive and you know we're really looking forward to that competition uh, week in and week out and you know there's great schools in this conference great players great coaches and you know, really good communities so we're super excited to be in it. How much would it mean for you guys to take home the inaugural Northeast State title? Obviously it would mean a lot you know it would mean a lot to our seniors you know they kind of set out with the goal of um, you know, we were the last ACAC champions, and, and being the, uh, you know, the first NEA champions would be would be important to them. But, you know, our our focus really is, you know, to to do that. You know, every team wants to win conference. You know, that's it's kind of a given goal for every team every year. But, you know, our our first goal is to improve every day. You know, what what can we do every single day to improve? And, you know, if we do that, and you know, we'll be successful. We we feel, you know, and, um, you know, that's that's what we pretty much have to do to be successful in this conference. So. Uh, you know, there's 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 a lot to it, and you know our, our guys are excited about it and, and working hard. With this being a really large senior class, do you see almost a little bit more fire in their bellies, knowing that this is their last season going out wearing the Leo uniform? Yeah, yeah. You know, they every senior class is you know excited to to get their senior year going, and they want it to be a memorable year and exciting year. So, uh, you know, with 22 of them, and, and they've had success in the in the the past, and they've you know played together for a long time. You know, they. They want to make this season, you know, a good one, and and we're pleased at what we see so far. You know, we got to, you know, continue it through, you know, the rest of the rest of the year, you know, in the next 10, 11 weeks. So, um, you know, hopefully, you know, they continue to stay together and keep their energy going, and um, you know, good things will happen. It's been the defense that's really kind of been the bread and butter of the Lions program. But what have you seen out of Cray in this offense so far in your practices that you think they'll kind of take over the reins as kind of the powerful part of this year's team? Yeah, well, we, I think our defense is still a, a really a good unit for us. And, um, you know, our, our, our defensive coaching staff does a great job. And we have, you know, six returners back on defense. So that's, it's still a pretty uh, good group, a veteran group uh, of defensive players. Uh, Offensively, we're pleased with Cray right now and, and where he's come from last year and had, had a solid summer. And so really happy with that. Tyler Hensinger's back at running back, so we have some experience there. And, uh, you know, we have you know we have three three linemen back. Uh, you know, if, if there's one area we still need to see growth, it's in the offensive line. And, uh, you know, they're coming together, but uh, we got a, we got a lot of work to do there. But, uh, you know, if, if the offensive line can gel and, and uh, I think we'll be um, we'll have success on offense. And going back to the defense, you guys only lost by a combined total of like, let me, I have the number here. I think it was three. Yeah, was something three something insane like right. that. Yep. What's it going to be about this year's defense that wins those close games mm -hmm. for you? Well, it's, it's really about finishing. We, we lost in, in close games in the, at the end of the game. Uh, and so got to finish the games off. And, and somewhat, it goes to offense too. You know, we got to be a little bit better in, 
and end of the game situations, two minute situations where you know we had a couple chances to win last year at Lures and then in their Northridge game uh, had the ball at the end and couldn't execute. So, you know, as much as it was a, you know, you think it's a defensive thing, our defense really played great in those games um, and our offense has to finish. And so that's that's one thing we got to do to get better. Yeah, two points separated you guys from a trip to regionals, including having this be so many of the kids last years. Do you think that kind of gives everybody a little bit more of a push to knowing that you guys were so close last year to regionals to getting back there this year? Sure, yeah, the, all the kids want to get back there. And uh, and again, it all, it all goes back to that, you know, are, are we improving every day and are we getting better? And seniors, are you leading? Um, you know, you'll go as far as senior class takes us and, and they, they want they want that. and. No, we're just taking it one day at a time right now, you know, and we'll, we'll worry about the postseason when we get there. So, uh, but there is excitement, obviously, and, and getting, they got a taste of, of a sexual championship, you know, a possible sexual championship and what it would be like. So they want to get back there. That's definitely a goal. Uh, team motto? Oh, I don't know if we have a team motto. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much we, we say improve every day and hard work. That's, that's kind of what we rest our, rest our team on. And then final question, who do you think is going to have a breakout year? Um, uh, we have several kids. Uh, we have a, a senior named Bo Carpenter. Um, didn't play last year, back this year at safety, right receiver. Uh, had really good preseason so far. Uh, really looking forward to see what Bo can do in uh, in uh, camp. Zach Sowers, another uh, another kid at receiver who's who's had a great summer, has lifted lifted you know all summer long, gotten better at receiver. So you know we're looking for a lot of things out of him too.